I really enjoyed the first episode. It's it's a little goofy. It's got some heart. It's got a little of everything. Oh, good. So Thanks. a little spice. A little yeah, spice. A little spice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that, is that what what brought you into spice, this? I'd say. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely some spice. that. Yeah. Look at this. Definitely Look at this. Is yeah. there going to be more spice? You know, if I have a say in it, of course. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't there's there be? gonna listen. There's gonna be spice and it's there's a nine minute go. montage being discussed just on my <laughs> side of the street. Just but like we'll see how it pans out. Yeah. Like lifting weights. I, um, I was waiting for it to happen up on the roof. So. <laughs> listen. Um, yeah. No. I think <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of of. It will be a continuation tonally of of what you saw. But yes. We're going to stay visually really cinematic, but then allow ourselves to get, like, goofy and have large set pieces. And, um, you know, there there are moments of slapstick in this, but it's then obviously, hopefully, um, compounded with some subtle throwaways and some improvisation. And you get to play director. For the pilot, but I will not oh. be directing the series. So, the yeah, just so that I can breathe. Because you're not yeah. a masochist. Yeah, I yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. I, exactly. I don't think to EP and to direct the whole series. I, I would never see my kids, and I would like to see my kids. I say, yeah. Like Green Acres meets uh, the, uh, the, the Money, money pit. pit. Yeah, I love but, that. But yeah. it's like reference. how many people know what the Green Acres is, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, I think the, the concept of moving from the big city, city to somewhere. City folks in the yeah. country is always going to be funny. Yeah. There'll be 20 more versions of this before it's all said and done. Mm. But at the end, I mean, you could say this was moving toward a, a show that has a, a lot of heart. That's what it seemed like. Indeed. Well, I think you you have to choose when you're making comedy that either the characters are uh, insane and not grounded or the world is. You can't really have insane people in an insane world and there's really no stakes. So mm -hmm. we have pretty honest, heartfelt characters in a very crazy world, which is my favorite type of yeah, just and reacting I, sincerely to falling through floors and stuff is funny. Exactly. I think the, the house and the actual texture of the, the, the situation is kind of crazy, but ultimately, you're right. There is a lot of heart. It is about, you know, the show is about this first year of marriage um, between these two people. It's about, you know, a fish out of water story where you know you're there's inclusion with the community it all exposes uh the, the fact that they've been in the advertising phase of their relationship of who they are but this type of situation will expose who you really are quite quickly so i think they're learning things about each other pretty pretty fast <laughs> once they get there the honeymoon much, phases. How it? much does this guy crack you up in every scene? Listen, <laughs> I I enjoy this man very much. It is it, it is true. I feel very very lucky to be able to like that we are aligned in our in our funny funny factors. Just yeah, like yeah. what we find. We have funny. the same tone, which yeah, is really great. a big relief when you're and play like we both play in in a similar way, which is makes it very um, it's, it's very satisfying too. <laughs> It's that, just easy. Yeah. Last question. How, how was it taking direction from this huge ego? <laughs> oh, God. It was, uh, no, it was lovely. <laughs> I mean, if you got to be told to do something differently, you should hope that that person looks like Lake. It certainly makes it a lot easier for me. Um, no, she's, you know, um, done this a bunch of times, and she knows exactly what she wants. And so uh, it was totally easy.